channel and happy new year for the most part because I probably I haven't been on here this year so happy new year and I probably haven't been here since like last mid last year two years ago but I'm happy to be here and one of the reasons why I've been able to be here today is because I've been working from home because COVID has us stuck at home and you know 2020 has been all shades of crazy and you know for my first vlog i felt like it made sense to pretty much do what 2020 and covid 19 has taught me as a person if you haven't yet subscribed i would suggest that you subscribe by clicking the button below i know you already saw this coming i definitely did not see this coming you know, I was planning my summer, and my 2020, and my goals, and what I wanted to achieve for the year. But in spite of everything, we stay grateful to God and we're happy to still be alive and breathing. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody's staying healthy. I hope you're wearing your mask. I hope you're sanitizing. I hope you're being very careful with those gloves because with gloves, you have higher chances of getting infections. I think most people don't know this. But I've seen people wear their gloves and they're eating food. Like you cannot use the gloves you're using to protect yourself from bacteria to pick food and put in your mouth. Anyway, I am no expert at COVID, neither am I an expert at life. But I did want to do a video just, just to do a couple of things that COVID-19 and 2020 has taught me as a person. So first thing I'll say 2020 has taught me is nothing is permanent um i mean i always knew that nothing was permanent and i always knew that change was a constant but i think 2020 has become such a rude awakening of certain situations that we have seen um over the past couple of months so some people never thought that they would ever be lose their jobs or be out of business but 2020 has shown that you have to have you need business dynamics and skills to survive. 2020 has shown that you have to have the toughest immune systems just to be one of the many who get past the COVID pandemic. So what I'll say, the first thing that hit me about 2020 was nothing was permanent. Immediately this thing hits, we saw people getting salary slashes, we saw people losing their jobs. Like America is at the height of unemployment because people keep fighting for unemployment. And it's the same situation around the world. And that's a global leader. So imagine what upcoming countries or third world countries like my country um, is going through right now. It's been tough. But another thing I'll say 2020 has taught me and COVID, I would say it has taught me new skills. And when I say new skills, these are skills that I never would have thought I would have had the patience or the time to pick up and do. But for some reason you are at home, you know, you, you sent your emails for the day, you've been on all 10 million Zoom calls, you know, and I, I, I legit go between Zoom to Teams to Blue Jeans to Skype and then back to Zoom and then I had to send something on, on, on media shot or media sign or I had to go shoot. Like, I have become... But let me not jump the gun, but I would say another thing in 2020 has taught me, I will, I will get to that, is new skills. So in the past, if I was hungry, you know, just legit get on an app and order food and it would deliver to me. But if I was craving pop, pop for instance, yeah, I would go to a wedding and just legit be waiting on small chops because that was the zone for my pop pop supply. But the 2020 has taught me as a person that if I want to make pop pop, I can make it by myself in my house. If I want to make brownies, I don't have to drive to VI, you know, to go buy brownies. I can make them by myself. So I'd say 2020 has also taught me survival skills, necessary survival skills. I'd say that that's not the necessary survival skills. Another thing I'll say 2020 has taught me would be gratitude. Um, 2020 has taught me the importance of having an attitude of gratitude. 2020 has taught me the importance of being grateful for the small things, like just still being grateful that you still have your roof over your head, just to be grateful that you still have a job, just to be grateful that your salary wasn't slashed, just to be grateful that your office is kind enough to give you benefits this period, just to help cushion you know, the working from home situation. Like I, I would say I probably wasn't as grateful as I was for the things and the opportunities that I have 
as I am now. Because looking in, and that's another beautiful thing about 2020 is that it, it, it's taught me how to reflect and look in and see myself. Seeing myself, that's another thing that it does me. I, I, it's taught me to see myself. It's taught me to look at myself in the mirror. So in the past, if you're going through something, all you have to do is get dressed, put on a nice dress, and before you know it, you're out having drinks and you're eating, wiping away your sorrows and those drinks, and not really dealing with the situation as a person. But the thing with 2020 is, it forced all of us to be still. Like compulsory, we all have to be still. So when you cannot, when you cannot move, what it is, what, what happens, you start things in life. So things that you necessarily won't have dealt with in the past. When you see yourself, you start dealing with it. You start to understand yourself. I, I feel like when you understand yourself better, you know, it makes dealing with people easier. I, I, I would say that for sure. It makes, it makes dealing with people with family easier. People kind of when you understand yourself, you can help other people understand the kind of person that you are. And I think working from home has taught me that like I have learned to look inwards and really understand you know certain things that I, I, I had done wrong in the past that I could do differently or I could have done differently. And another thing another thing this year has taught me I would say is the importance of family. And uh, uh, my sisters, you know, love to anyone out there who doesn't have their family who has been hit by COVID. I have seen such stories on social media of people losing their parents, their significant others, their kids to the pandemic. And I, I, I'm sending you my love, I'm sending you my prayers, and all of the light that you need to get through these trying times. But I will say that 2020 has taught me to appreciate my family the most. Now, they are your people and I don't know how else to say this and it happened to me a long time to realize this but family, they are your people, my people. Not your friends. I mean, friends are great. Like, I used to have like one million gazillion friends but the pandemic has taught me that family is important and you should be grateful for every opportunity and every time you get to spend them. Are they pain in your ass? Yes. But are they the best thing after sliced bread? I would also say yes. So I'm eternally grateful for family. 2020 has also taught me that it's important to be close to God. And this is because there's lots of times that I have been, my faith has been tested this period like almost the point of why am i still doing this and it has been tough and i know most people will not understand like everyone's like oh my god you're so happy go lucky you have this great job you have this amazing friends you're so pretty i love your body but guys on some days it is difficult and you know, and it's just God that can get you through everything. And I'm just grateful for that. I don't really, really I, I can't really put it into words, but I'll say I am grateful for that. Um, in the past, this is another thing that has taught me. In the past, this girl, go get that skill, go get this, go get that, do more, make that money, this, that, 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 that. But 2020 has taught me that none of those things matter because. You can get that skill, make that money, marry a dream boy and a dream girl, and legit just die at the hand of this random ass virus. So I would say 2020 has taught me to be grateful for where you are and be grateful for your journey and be grateful for what you're born. So that's also what I would say that's brought to mind for me is don't always be in such a place to get to that next step, to that next place. Like, just let's enjoy where you are and be grateful for where you are and be thankful that you're going to be where you are. I know I used to be that person of like, I'm a bit sad in this, a bit sad that, a bit sad that, and look at me. But now I kind of understand that the point of life is to enjoy the journey and enjoy where you are at and, and trust the process. 2020 has taught me to trust the process. Um, lots of people say this has been the worst year of their lives. 
Well, I wouldn't really say it's been the worst year of our lives, but it's definitely been the most trying year that we've all experienced or that I've experienced in the years that I have been here. So I don't know what other people have seen, but there's definitely been that. But then also, it's very important. The Bible also says that the word of your mouth is very important. So I am not going to manifest that 2020 will be terrible. It's a terrible year for me. So I'm going to keep manifesting and saying it's an amazing year. It will be an amazing year and it will be there's so many things, there's so many possibilities that can happen. We've been able to pull up so many amazing things since we've been at home and, and super thankful, super grateful, but then also thankful to 2020 for teaching you, you know, new 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 ways of doing of doing things. So I'll say that's another thing that 2020 has taught all of us, that's taught us to by force try something else. It doesn't always have to be this way. And I remember having a question with my sister and she was saying, Oh yeah, before in the office, they used to spend so much money on dispatch, like sending documents back and forth, back and forth. And they spent so much money on DHL just because they want the signature to be signed by the person on the other side that's supposed to be signatures because of audits and all of that. Guess what? When the lockdown happened, they had to start signing the documents through the signatures. So I would say definitely there's broken some archaic ways of doing things that we're all used to. So I'll give that to 2020. I'll do that again. So yeah. Yeah, so in hindsight, 2020 has been trying. It is still difficult. The Naira is in shambles. Lots of businesses are not doing as great. But I also have a faith principle that God will take care of his own as he has promised. So in eventuality, we're all going to be okay. And the year is going to turn out to be a testimony. I think that's my current standpoint to that it's going to turn out to be a testimony and one more thing i'll say COVID-19 has brought me for sure uh, i think the one that he made the most is the fact that some people literally have it in their hands to destroy the entire world and they will do it without a second thought about the second thing the next person they will legit kill the entire world just for their benefits. In all, I'd say 2020 has taught me a lot of things and it's still teaching me a lot of things. But most most importantly, it has taught me resilience and always have to keep standing up and pushing forward. It will be difficult. The journey will be tough. The road is not easy. But I think the Bible says that it is going to be a narrow road to heaven, but to hell it's going to be very wide. And I think that's the best part to go. Ask of the rest of you. So you fall down 10 times, get back up, and you keep getting back up, and you keep going. Our prayer is that it gets better. And I'm happy to be back. And I hope you guys miss me. And then keep streaming, subscribe, come back next time because this will be another video next week. I love you. Be good to one another. Keep staying safe. Keep practicing social distancing, please wear your mask.